Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. A gorgeous day on Lake Winola. We put in 12 or 15 of the most beautiful panfish. And of course, Tommy, not only do we have in common the, the fact that we love to hunt and fish together, but we love to eat too. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part of the trip. And we have a beautiful backyard here. You've got all the big boy toys that are necessary to, for cooking, right? You got deep fryer and egg, everything, right? I am gonna start filleting these fish so we can start cooking. Now here's what I'm, here's the way that I like doing it. I like getting underneath here, like this. I start it down, then I rub them. I try to run right along the rib cage, like this. And then take the rib cage off. I'm trying to show you at home how to do this, but. And then run against the skin. And there's one of the fillets. Now we'll come back and feel around and make sure that we don't have any more in it. You could also come this way. And cut this. A lot of guys I know, we like to use electric knives. A lot of guys like to cut them off the, the rib cage when they're this big, get more meat out of it. And there you go. Stop it there, come back against the fish. Get the scales off. There, you see that? That's a beautiful filet right there. Nice little piece of meat. Yep. All right, grab another fish here. They're small, but they're tasty. It didn't take us long to filet our morning catch. You just tackle one fish at a time, and before you know it, you're ready for the next step. So what you're looking at now is a nice tray of fillets. We were a little rough at the beginning. Yeah, we're out of, we're out of practice. It's been a while, but we've got a nice, enough for a nice little lunch for Tommy and I. And you're going to bread these up, and we're going to make some French fries. How are we going to bread them? What are you using? We're going to take we're going to take the uh, fillets, and we're just going to use a standard store-bought breading mix for for fish. Okay. Um, nothing fancy. Some milk. So we're going to dredge them in the, in the milk in the uh, breadcrumb mix into the and then, pen, and then we're gonna drop them right in. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. All right. And these are all different size. If you drop them, I'll bread them. How's that? You got it. That way we'll keep one hand we'll clean. We'll get going. We'll keep one hand clean. And I actually like my breading to sit on it a little bit before you drop them right in. This is coming out really nice. We got fillets everywhere. What I find, Tom, that we were talking kids and grandchildren on the boat, what I find is, is that kids like to see the end product too. You take a kid, they catch them, you bring them home, you show them how to right. cook them and fillet them. I don't care if you just put them in a pan with butter, you know? I just have this feeling that that is something that really hooks the kids. Yeah, and then there's nothing fancy to this. There's no homemade breadings or... Right. I know there's beer batters and everything, and I like them all. I mean, once you get, the hardest part is the filleting, but once you get the filleting done, and now we're just having some fun breading these. And I can smell what kind of oil are you using and how hot. That is uh, soybean oil. Okay. We're gonna try to get it up to about uh, 350 or so. And this is your backyard. I know restaurants that would kill for this <laughs> setup. <laughs> you, you know me, man, I like to cook. Big boy toys, baby. And, and you know, I probably cook more out here than I do in, <laughs> in the house. And we're just going to get these things here. Now, these are not going to take more than a minute or no, two. No, these are going to cook so fast. We'll get those french fries going before we drop these in. So it's sort of like a Pennsylvania fish and chips. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do a little Old Bay seasoning on the french fries. Our breaded fish is ready. Let's now turn our attention to the fryer. To the fryer. Let's do it. So seeing you're grabbing the French fries first, right. what's the deal with that? We're gonna we're gonna par cook these, then we'll do the fish. Obviously some water in there. Yeah, yeah. I love that sound. Yeah. Smells like boardwalk fries already, buddy. 
Without the seagulls. Without the seagulls, without the sand, we're going in. Nice. How long are you going to cook those for? Um, I'm going to say maybe five minutes. Okay. Maybe not even that. Because we're, we're, like I said, we're just going to get them going. Okay. We're going to hold those off right there. Okay. And let's start cooking some fish. All right. I'll hold. You drop in. Okay. So again, the key to this is what, Tom? The key is we're going to drop them into the oil. We're not going to put them in the basket. I may turn this up a little bit if that starts to drop below 325. Let's not crowd these. Okay. Let's do a couple of, let's do a couple. Okay, and then I'll get the pan mm -hmm. to put them in. Can't get any fresher. The fish are only out of the water for what? Three hours, if that, not, not even, two hours. Filleted right on the back porch. Another, another second, I'm gonna drop these fries back down. Look at these, oh my goodness. I don't even know if you want it anymore, do No, you? they're done, but just, just get those look out at, there. Look at that. I'll get you some more. Yeah, let's drop them in. We get a little uh, assembly line going here. I'm taking okay. those out. Yep, here you go. Those are done. Go let's ahead. Just drop them in. And I think you did the perfect amount as far as how many in that pan. You start putting too many in there and your oil gets cool, then you end up with greasy fish. So we'll do two more and then we'll do a third batch. Got it. All right, sneak one. How good, how good is that? <laughs> it's incredible. Oh my God. They are second, really, let's, really uh, good. Let's take these fries out. Okay. So the steam doesn't get them. They'll, what'll happen is they'll, they'll get soft from the steam. You want to throw some old bay on there? I do. You take that one. I got this one. You're going to sneak one, aren't you? I'm going to purposely sneak one. Here we go. A little bit more old bay. You ready? I'm ready, just watch that oil dripping. Oop. We lost a couple. All right, there you go. He'll fish that one out of the oil so we don't lose a single piece of this. Nope. We are going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to cook up another fish. Get that one in here, come on. There we we're go. We're going to cook up another fish and we're going to talk about just food, no politics. So stick around. 